<coughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for your attending. My name is Min Ye Yang, and I'm currently pursuing my PhD degree in Dr. Chen's group from University of Illinois at Chicago. Here, I'm going to briefly introduce one of the latest work of our group, which is a quantum-inspired biotelemetric system for robust and ultra-sensitive wireless intracranial pressure monitoring. In this work, we propose a novel intracranial pressure monitoring system based on the peritime reciprocal scaling symmetry, which can be ultra-robust against the coil misalignment and have remarkable sensitivity at the same time. We'll briefly introduce the traditional ICP monitoring systems, and the challenges and the motivations in this area. And then we'll demonstrate the superiority of the proposed ICP monitoring system enabled by PDX symmetry from both theoretical and experimental aspects. The intracranial pressure is an important zoological indicator which can provide significant information for clinical diagnostics or surgical protocols. Hence, the monitoring of ICP is of great research interest. Nowadays, the routinely carried out ICP monitoring relies on tether approaches, which requires the implanting a catheter to probe the cranium through a cranial window achieved by mandatory surgeries as shown in the right side figure. The catheter is then connected to external measurement equipment for detecting the pressure. This approach essentially requires complicated measurement setups and thus hinders the mobility of patients, which brings a lot of discomfort and inconvenience. Therefore, the development of wireless monitoring of ICP is emerging in recent years. Although several prototypes of wireless ICP monitoring systems have been proposed, they still face challenges for practical implementation. For example, the life schematic is powered by an internal battery, which significantly shortens the lifetime of the system. Further, the mandatory maintenance of the battery will cause additional surgeries, which may result in increased risk of hemorrhage or inflammatory responses. Although the fully passive ICP monitoring systems can more or less mitigate the issues existing in those active systems, they still have their own challenges. As shown in the right side schematic, the fully passive ICP monitoring systems usually exploit the near field inductive coupling as the um, data transfer, and the pressure information is encoded as the amplitude or phase shift of the resonance frequency. However, the low quality factors of these systems can only excite single and weak resonances, which may result in less accuracy compared to those tether methods. Most importantly, since the um, bioimplants are implanted inside human skull and are invisible, the inevitable misalignments between the sensor coil and the reader coil will significantly hamper the reliability of the system because the characteristics of the resonance are strongly related to the coupling strength. A tiny misalignment between the, <coughs> the, the a tiny misalignment between the two coil tendons will cause significant loss of accuracy. For example, in this schematic, there should be a very complex collimation system to precisely control the position of this reader coil in order to get a accurate coupling between them. In this event, to address these issues, we propose a novel ICP monitoring system based on peritime reciprocal scaling symmetry structure, which is referred to as the PDX symmetry. It is essentially non-invasive, ultra-sensitive, maintenance-free, and most importantly, robust against the coil misalignments. And at the same time, it can also provide continuous and real-time monitoring behavior. Here we show the schematic of our proposed ICP monitoring system while detecting the ICP. 
and also its equivalent circuit diagram. This system <coughs> comprises a bioimplantable and fully passive sensor and the active reader. The sensor tank contains a piezo-resistive pressure transducer. The reader is made of negative resistance and seriously connected with the capacitor. The values of lumpy elements in both tanks are in a scaled symmetry, which is depicted in the figure. And here, the x is the scaling factor. This can also keep the same resonance frequencies in both tanks. And the pressure is applied to the pressure transducer. The resistance of the transducer will decrease, which results in the change of the quality factor of sensor tank. The reader is connected to a portable RF synthesizer, which continuously acquiring the re reflection coefficients and provide a real-time monitoring behavior. For this circuit diagram, the eigenfrequencies can be given by equation 1, where gamma is the quality factor, and the kappa is the coupling strength between two coil antennas, and the omega is the angular frequency. Once we have two measured resonance frequencies and apply the values of them to this equation, we can readily solve the corresponding gamma and kappa, which is the foundation of the proposed sensing system. According to the equation 1, <coughs> the eigenfrequencies will split when beyond certain critical values of gamma and kappa, as shown in the left. This feature demonstrates that when the system is operating in a status that gamma and kappa are both larger than their critical values, the reflection spectra will concurrently have two distinct and sharp resonance dips, as shown in the right and marked by red lines. These two resonant dips can be described by the equation 1, which corresponds to a certain pair of gamma and kappa. Additionally, we may point out that the scaling factor x will not affect either the line shape or <coughs> the occurrence of two resonant dips. And this allows us to have more flexibility on designing the system without damaging the performance. To make a clear comparison, we well, here show the difference between the um, traditional telemetric system and our proposed one used for ICP monitoring. As can be seen, the PDX telemetric system can excite two sharp and distinct resonant dips due to the high Q resonance. And on the contrary, the traditional one can only have a single the weak resonance due to the low Q resonance. And our proposed system can thus provide a greatly enhanced sensitivity. And additionally, the change of the coupling strength will greatly affect the characteristics of the single resonance in a traditional telemetric system, which results in inaccuracy of pressure monitoring. However, in our proposed system, since the two resonant dips can be perfectly described by the equation 1, the gamma of the sensor tank can be always obtained from it in spite of the change on coupling strength once the PDX symmetry is ensured. Thus, our system can achieve a highly accurate sensing function with high reliability. Here is our <coughs> measurement setups and the first measurement of the occurrence of two resonant dips. We firstly applied a certain pressure to the pressure sensor which results in the resistance of the pressure sensor to be 180 ohms, breaking the original PDX symmetry. Then, we intended to tune the negative resistance in the reader tank, try to um, reconfigure the system back to PDX symmetry. From the right figure, we can see that only when we adjusted the negative resistance to the scaled value of the pressure sensor will there occur two resonant dips. Uh, indicating the achievement of PDX symmetry. And these two resonant dips can be applied to the equation 1 to find out the, <coughs> the target information of gamma and the, uh, the pressure. Next, we try to measure the pressures ranging from 0 to 17 mm mercury. The reflection spectra under different pressures are shown in the left figure. We could see the
the frequency splitting becomes larger as the pressure increases, since the increased pressure results in decreased resistance of the pressure sensor. Later, we perform the measurement in a different relative position between two coil tenders to mimic the misalignment scenarios. The measurement results depicted by different lines in right figures show a great consistency to each other, which proves the uh, ultra-robustness against coil misalignment of our proposed ICP monitoring system. Finally, as a conclusion, we have demonstrated the simple, compact, and low-cost PDX biotelemetrics ICP monitoring system, which can provide continuous the real-time monitoring characteristics. Since the scouting transformation can provide us further flexibility on design, our system can be applied to other organ pressure monitoring scenarios by just simply choosing different scouting factors. The experimental results and the theoretical analysis have illustrated that our system can be independent to the coupling strength, which is not possible with the traditional telemetric system. We believe that our findings can have a great impact on the applications of biomedical areas. Thank you very much for your listening.